A few weeks ago, I built a Bluetooth speaker for my workshop. It works quite well and I've been happy with the sound quality so far. But then a relic reached out to me and asked me if I'd be interested in trying one of their DIY amplifier boards, or more specifically, the up to stream Amp4. A relic sell a range of wired and wireless amps and speakers which are ready to use. They also sell electronics separately in the form of DIY boards that allow you to build your own enclosures and speaker sets, or just add streaming support to your existing setups. Since I had designed my speaker with adaptability in mind, it would be fairly easy for me to swap out the amplifier that I'd used, so I agreed to give it a try. A week or so later, the up to stream amp arrived in the mail. The biggest difference between this and the amplifier that I used previously is that this board adds Wi-Fi to my speaker, with the ability to connect directly to the online streaming provider like Spotify or Amazon Music. This avoids any compression losses and any issues with the range of the speaker from the playback device. It also adds support for airplay, and you can use multiple up to stream boards for multi-room installations. It does come with an increased price tag, as this board is currently being sold for $99 through a Relix web store. It accepts a voltage input from 12 to 26 volts and can be used with 4 to 8 ohm drivers. The board is jam packed with plugs and pins to add inputs, buttons and displays, most of which are available as plug-in modules from their web store, so you can build your own custom setups. You can even add a DAC or digital to analog converter for enhanced audio quality. At the front is a mode light to tell you what the mode or current sound source is, and then an IR sensor for remote control. The remote control can also be bought separately. At the back is a power button, an RJ45 LAN port for wired connection, a USB port to play music from a flash drive, a USB micro port for sound input from a computer, and a 3.5mm line in jack. There's also speaker output terminals, and then a 12 to 26 volt DC power input jack. As mentioned previously, there are a number of ports and pins available for add-ons, and these are all labelled on the underside of the board. So let's start off by designing our new amplifier housing to hold the up to stream amp between my speakers. Because this amplifier is a bit wider, I'm also going to have to adjust the speaker handle to span a bit further but I'll pick up on the same screw holes so I don't have to reprint the housings. I printed the new amplifier housing and handle out on my 3D printer, and then laser cut a new acrylic cover for it. I also engraved some labels onto the acrylic cover for the ports on the back and the mode LED. Before assembly, I'll need to melt some M3 brass inserts into the newly printed parts. These are for our screws to screw into. I did this on the previous build as well to improve the strength and durability of the screwed joints. As with the previous design, the amplifier is mounted into the house with some brass standoffs, although these are now M2.5 by 6mm standoffs. These just screw into the holes I've printed into the base of the housing, and the amplifier is then held in place with some M2.5 screws in the top. Before I screw the amp into the standoffs though, I'm going to solder the speaker wires onto the board. This is so I don't have to add the terminal block onto the back and have the wires sticking out the back of the amp. With that done, we can now screw the amp into place. We also need to stick the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antennas onto the sides of the amplifier housing. The top cover is then held in place with some M3 by 8mm button head screws. 
The handles then also replaced with the same M3 by 8mm button head screws. That's our speaker modification complete, so let's turn it on and try it out. I'm going to use the same 24 volt 3 amp adapter I used previously. Once we have power to the amp, we need to download the Forstream app. We can then find our device and set it up on our Wi-Fi network. Connect it to your Wi-Fi network. That's it, it's now ready to start streaming. From the app we can set up music streaming sources or play local music from the device. I obviously can't stream music from Spotify or Amazon Music for the video, so here's another track I'm using. There's definitely a significant improvement in audio quality. We can now also control the bass and treble settings from the app, rather than the previous physical controls. We can also play local files or play music through Apple Music using AirPlay. You can set up device names and multi-room zones. You can even set up presets to easily access your favorite music playlists from the remote control or certain buttons. And you can set an alarm clock to start and stop playing music at a specified time. The speaker terminals are one of the things I don't really like on this board. If your speakers are separate from your amplifier, which is most often the case, then this arrangement works well but I would like to have had some pads next to the terminals or different terminals that could be used if you wanted to keep the speaker wire internal, like with my design. It's not a big issue, I just removed the terminal block and soldered the speaker wires directly to the board, but I feel like this should have been an option. I also think a nice feature for this amplifier would have been to add PoE support. It would be great to have just a single network cable plugged in to provide both a data connection and power to the device. Overall, the sound quality on the up to stream amp is great, and I love that I can stream directly from a service and don't have to use my phone. Let me know down in the comments what you think of the Relic up to stream amp v4, or if you've used one of the other products. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe for more tech and electronics projects, tutorials, and reviews.